Unlike other models from this lineup, the Genovation GXE is actually a conversion project based on the Corvette C7 Grand Sport. It, however, replaces the strong internal combustion engine by Chevy with an even mightier dual-motor electric powertrain with 800 horsepower and 718 pound-feet of torque output. In order to reach the highest speeds, engineers chose to abandon the usual single-speed drivetrain of electric vehicles and actually installed a 7-speed manual or dual-clutch paddle-shift automatic transmission. As of 2019, the GXE holds the record of the world's fastest street-legal electric car, hitting 210 miles per hour in October. But the creators are convinced that this EV will do 220 in the nearest future. It has been a while since we heard about the Croatian-built Rimac C2, but actually, the upcoming 2020 is the year when the car is scheduled to finally roll off the production lines. Limited to 150 units, all of which have already been sold for more than $2 million, the C2 is claimed to become one of the fastest accelerating cars on the planet, speeding to 62 miles per hour in less than two seconds. The two-seater gets a four-motor electric powertrain with a 120-kilowatt-hour battery that ensures a max range of 305 miles, a speed of 258 miles, and a quarter-mile time of 9.1 seconds. Despite having two doors too many to be called a proper supercar, the GTE by the Silicon Valley-based startup Draco promises exceptional handling, plenty of power, insane torque, and, as a bonus, four seats to fit a family. The car borrows its chassis from Fisker's Karma, but gets a more sophisticated suspension setup. Thanks to its four in-wheel electric motors, that produce 1,200 horses and a combined torque of 6,490 pound-feet, the GTE has a claimed top speed of 206 miles per hour, and it should demonstrate pretty decent acceleration times. It also comes with several wheels options, each equipped with high-performance carbon ceramic brakes from Brembo. When this iconic sports car manufacturer was purchased by the Chinese company Geely in 2017, many got worried. Can you expect the same level of British finesse and craftsmanship from the brand? As it turns out, you can, and the proof of that is the new Evaya hypercar. Meant for a limited production of 130 units, this model is many things at once. The first all-electric Lotus, the lightest production EV hypercar in the world, and the only road-legal automobile from the company that sits on a single-piece carbon-fiber monocoque construction. 
In addition, the Evaya will be one of the fastest electric cars on the market, developing speeds over 200 miles per hour and taking less than three seconds to accelerate to 62 miles per hour. This electric supercar is arguably the most anticipated model within the EV community, since as claimed by its creators, it will make gasoline cars completely obsolete. The Tesla Roadster will start production in late 2020 and priced at $200,000. It will definitely outshine Italian high-performance models. The acceleration to 60 should break the two-second barrier, clocking at 1.9 while the upper velocity limit will be set at 250 miles per hour. It must be mentioned that the sports coupe is powered by a new generation three motor powertrain, has 620 miles of range, and will optionally come with 10 cold gas thrusters for improved driving dynamics in SpaceX trim. Currently under Indian ownership, the iconic Italian high-performance sports car manufacturer is returning to the big league with the all-new electric hypercar. Having a completely unique exterior design, it is borrowing the EV powertrain from the Croatian Rimats. So the thing boasts of 1,900 horsepower and 1,696 pound-feet of torque and 280 miles of range, courtesy of a 120 kilowatt-hour battery. This marvel of modern engineering has a carbon fiber body with futuristic shape and butterfly doors. For now, the newcomer is rated at 217 miles per hour top speed and under two seconds acceleration to 60. The VW IDR was built on the new modular MEB platform that will underpin all of the EVs by the brand in the nearest future. Its task was to demonstrate the versatility of the skateboard chassis and plug-in powertrain that could be reconfigured to build electric vehicles of any body type, even supercars. This racer is not chasing the highest speed results. Instead, it is going after the record-breaking achievements on various tracks, doing 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.25 seconds and being extremely agile. It currently holds the title of the fastest car of the Pikes Peak Hill Climb and Goodwood Festival of Speed.
even though this supposed Tesla killer luxury electric sedan has mostly disappeared from the news after the concept release in 2018. We know that its development still continues with the help of the Middle East investors, and the actual production is expected to start late 2020 at the newly completed plant in Arizona. The most capable version of the Lucid Air is getting a 1,000 horsepower dual motor all-wheel drive setup with a claimed 0 to 60 acceleration of 2.5 seconds. The stripped down prototype of the car has managed to achieve 235 miles per hour top speed on the track, but the final production version is likely to get a 155 mile per hour limiter and will instead focus on the interior luxury, self-driving, and long range of 400 miles.